In this video, I'm going to talk about form fill width option within uh, a model driven app. So form field width. Now, as you see in the screen over here, I have something called as a section. Okay. So if you see this part, I have a section and I have fields defined, right? So I have field number one, two, three, four, and five fields. And now remember, see how these fields are structured. One is, uh, this is in like two different columns within a section, right? So this is one column okay, and this is an, another column. Okay, so you have two different columns. And then within that column, I have this height of this particular description field. So the goal is basically to get into uh, and design uh, a similar kind of an interface. And how do we do in model driven app? So first thing you need to go into the Girish custom form, like uh, any uh, form which you want to edit. If you want to edit an existing form or create a new form, feel free to do that. But I'm going to edit my own custom form. Just to find this form, you need to go into the backend table, tables, cases, forms, and then go into the relevant form and open it in an editor, okay? So in the form editor, you will be able to see uh, the form, okay? Now, my goal is to come up with this particular thing, okay? So I'll create a new tab, okay? First, I'll create a new tab. So I'll go to components. And from that component, I'll create a new tab. Maybe I'll just create one column tab, okay? Now, this is the new tab which I've created. Let me call it as uh, repo. Okay, so this is the tab which I've created. Now, what are the fields I want? Description, follow-up task. So maybe let me search for description. Follow-up task created. Decrement, case stage, decrementing. Decrementing case stage and then decrementing added decrementing so what is other one decrement entitlement terms so decrement entitled terms okay so this is how you uh, first put up whatever fields you want within the application now remember if you see this section this section is just one column okay now how do you know this is one column this is one column from here now i need to make it two column because the goal is to make it two columns right so let's make it two column first so i made it two columns so now it is two column okay now after description i have follow-up task after description i have follow-up task and after that i have decrement entitled terms decrement entitled terms so this is how i have designed my form now, when I have two columns, what I can do, I can see this one, case stage and decrementing, see these two fields, okay? I can drag this and put it over here, case stage and decrementing field, right? So now the things are uh, getting into that proper perspective. Now, if you see this description, I want it to be wider. Okay, I want it to be wider and case stage and decrementing to come here. Okay, so what I'm going to do if I select this field, say this form field width, it says just pick up one column. Okay, no, I don't want so every field is like one column, right? One column, and this entire section is of two columns. So I will say for this description, I want it to be two column wide. So the moment I do that, this becomes two column wide, and now I think our goal is. Uh, I believe achieved, you know, by making it wider. Now, the other set of goal which I want is, you know, like if I just move it down, see what happens. It is moving to the other side. Okay. So it is still not set correctly. So let me move this form follow up task created to the top and decrement entitled terms to here. Now it is perfectly aligned. Now, how do I control the height of this description? Now, from here, you can go to form field width height. Now, see what happens if I make it say nine rows or 10 rows or 11 rows, I am able to achieve what I want in this interface. Now, if you see this, this is exactly what I wanted. Follow up task, decrement at title terms, 
from here and maybe let me make the height a bit bigger and that's it let me do a save and publish once i publish this and once i refresh this form i should be able to mimic the behavior of the demo tab within the application so as you see over here in repo this is description and one column wider than this two column width and other columns are within one column but then they are stacked on top of each other like this okay so that's it folks this is how you design basically a model driven app section columns and make the column width wider based on your need thanks for watching